Desperate times call for desperate measures. So when it comes to a woman that is about to hit the wall or has already hit the wall and she needs to attract a mate or a partner to be with, but she's already ran through all her options, she looks to throw the Hail Mary pass to any willing participant and usually that happens to be, and what we're gonna talk about in today's video, is younger men and cougars. And the rise of older women dating younger men in 2021, as well as covering an article where a 35-year-old woman talks about her relationship with a 25-year-old man and why she believes this is the new trend and the cold hard truth about women who are older dating younger men and what that means for the Hail Mary throwers. 47% of the 97 million Americans 45 or older are single. According to an AARP survey of 3,500 older singles, 34% of women in the 40 to 69 age group date younger men. That's a large percentage, guys. And 14% of women aged 50 to 59 say they prefer dating men in their 40s or younger. Census Bureau figures show that about 12% of all marriages are between older women and younger men. When asked why women prefer dating older men and why we're seeing an increase in these types of relationships, women dating younger men said they appreciated the strength, humor, openness, youth, and passion of their partners. And what do men get in return? Well, an old fish box that has been used throughout her entire 20s and possibly her 40s, and now she is 50 years old, almost 60 years old, and it is possibly still being used by other men, not just you. But that's besides the point. So it's clear to me and through the statistics and research I've done that older women are dating younger men at increasingly higher rates than they were in the past. What does this mean for younger men? How do you protect yourself? We have to talk about this because it's a very important topic. As a young man, you have your whole life ahead of you. You might be in college still, you might be in high school about to graduate and move on to college or move on to some trade school, but you have no idea about your long-term potential as a man and who you will become. Because when you're young, you're still trying to find your hobbies, your passion, your true self, your sense of purpose, what inspires you, what gets you up and going every morning. And older women see this and they understand this and they understand that you don't have necessarily your purpose right now the majority of you guys do not have your purpose therefore you are an easier target for these older women that have already hit the wall and have missed out on their opportunity with men their age or men older than them that now those men realize their value and won't deal with those women that are in their age range because they understand that those women hit the wall they have the opportunity from literally 18 years old all the way until they were 40 years old to find a man stick to that relationship handle their business and hold him down and they weren't able to do that now the men they were with during that timeline of that relationship they could have cheated on them or whatever but regardless of the fact those women chose men like that so that's why i tell you guys you don't save these women from their issues you let them deal with their own issues by themselves you sit back you relax you sip off some tea, you sip off some coffee, and you just watch the self-destruction happen in real time. But don't let those women knock you off your purpose at an early age by maybe giving you some money, giving you a place to stay, trying to mother you, trying to become sort of like a mother wife to you when they date you because that is what they'll do. They'll have more money than you. They'll have uh, more opportunities, more connections than you, more experience in the real world. So they'll be more willing to put out and do certain things that girls your age, women your age would not necessarily be able to do if you're a young man. And unfortunately, there is also a rise in male virginity and men that just are not participating in the dating game whatsoever. So a lot of men are at the point where they're feeling desperate and they're young men. They don't realize they have this much life still ahead of them, but they're right here on the timeline of their life and their potential and they don't realize all this time right here they're building a kingdom they should be building a kingdom and an empire and working towards something and that six-year-old woman that 50 year old woman that 40 year old woman she's already hit the wall she's already blown multiple opportunities you know she probably has kids she has stretch marks for sure crow's feet and she's able to pick up on little insecurities you have and things you're very good at so she's able to manipulate and target you better than a woman your age. 
solely based off of her life experiences in the past. So you young men that are out there, understand that this is a rising trend, know what to look out for. Understand that yes, these women, while they might still look attractive for being older women, and they might be willing to take care of you and coddle you and mother you, you can accept those gifts, but keep it casual, keep it fun, don't be romantically involved with women like this, and realize that this is a rising trend. There's an article that I will link in the description of this video and that I will show on the screen right now that depicts what exactly is going on in the dating scene right now in regards to older women. This is a 35 year old woman and this is her blog post. She is now dating a 25 year old and she breaks it down exactly why older women, she's encouraging older women to date younger men, the reasons for it, what questions to ask, what to look for. I'm gonna put you guys on game and link it in the description, but I just wanna show you guys the body language in this picture. If we look at this picture right here, she's 35, he's 25, she's leaning in, he's not leaning into her. The body language and these facial expressions, the smile on her face versus the smirk on his, shows to me that he's viewing this as a casual fling, a come up. This is obviously a famous blogger in Australia, so he's getting some clout from this relationship. He's getting featured in her magazine. She's clearly all about him, leaning into him. She is obviously post-wall. You know, she's almost 40 years old. And I find it funny, but it's also kind of sad that you see these older women that really think younger men are going to be loyal to them and stick around for the long term and be changing these older women's diapers, taking care of them when they're old, when they're still young, these men, when they get 40, they're gonna be with 70 year old women. It's not gonna happen. These men are not gonna be faithful. But yeah, just from the body language in the picture and the way she described their first date, she's really into him. He's not really that much into her. She thought he was only in it to hook up, but it ended up turning into a long-term relationship. You guys can give it a read for yourselves. It's pretty freaking hilarious, just female logic, trying to explain uh, the delusion that goes on within their minds. Where have all the good guys gone? Where are all the boys next door? The ones who sent you flowers and poured you champagne Who danced with you till dawn and walked you home in the rain God bless her soul. But yeah guys, I'll leave it on that note. Follow me on Instagram at Lonnie Spence underscore. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share the video and be sure to turn on your notifications and let me know your thoughts once you get finished reading this article and what you think about the rising trend in older women hitting on younger men and dating younger men. Has this happened to you? Have you noticed it with any friends or any family members? Let me know your thoughts.